me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another VR video. Today we are in not Project TX. Actually, this is a prototype uh, that I was just working on since uh, since Saturday, and uh, <laughs> right now it's it's Monday. So this is a three-day prototype, really really quick, um, quick turnaround as per usual. It's called the Avatar Scale Zone, and this is just a quick test of uh, of Avatar scaling. So uh, on on Friday, I believe the Bone Lab trailer, the the latest gameplay trailer came out, and um, yeah, they have some really cool scaling mechanics in there where the character can literally embody any character size, and I kind of wanted to try it out. I can't wait until Thursday on release, so I just rebuilt the whole thing myself. <laughs> Well, <laughs> just a very prototype version of it, just to test how the ragdoll system would work with that. Um, in fact, my ragdoll system was already kind of half-half able to, to handle some of that. This is uh, completely rewritten from scratch, the, the fizz body, so it's very, very simple. There's no crouching mechanics, you can see you can't crawl or anything. The, the physics is very wibbly-wobbly and the elbows kind of go all over the place a little bit. But that's fine, right? Uh, it's, just, it's just a very simple simple way of doing things but what this is is all to test scale look at the size of King Kong Ooh. <laughs> so um, the system actually in itself it scales the character but also scales the ragdoll pieces all separately independently and then strength as well so there we go here you can see these boxes here just for testing are all physics objects and they are ranging from uh, a nice 50 kg box over here which is very easy to push around by myself uh, all the way up to 10,000 kg so 10,000 kilograms right there there is no way I can push that you can see here even simple things become a little bit difficult to push and then the larger objects are impossible even if I run into them fully so let's have a look at how the scaling system works look at the scales that we can test <laughs> so here we go um, I'm actually acting as this dude so there we go here you can see a mirror of my uh, of my ragdoll and uh, there we go it pretty much matches matches this guy so this is uh, a guy that kind of matches my natural height now the scaling system what it does is it takes your waist it takes your shoulders it takes your stomach it takes your hand uh, arm length so there we go. This is a, this is a full extension, but obviously it's not perfect right now because this is a this is a, a simple project. Uh, it takes your head size, it takes your neck, all of that, and scales it according to the profile for a different character. Let's say, for example, um, let me just reset my default. I switch to Mario, right? So what it'll do, it'll scale my view down. It'll scale up the collision and the ragdoll and the shoulders and the size of the waist and everything to match Mario's. So there we go, you can see he matches Mario, right? And I still have all of my ragdoll physics. So this is, there we go, I can hit the ground and I can jump. Uh, now in terms of strength scaling, I haven't given their profile strengths. Instead, I've just um, I've just scaled it according to, according to the height, right? So these guys, you can see Mario can't jump very high, which is ridiculous. And then, of course, we can switch to Luigi. There we go. Nice and Luigi-sized. And you can see the arms are a bit wobbly. But uh, yeah, these are all the ragdoll pieces separately scaling. Um, and they're not using local scale or anything like that. They're using the actual colliders or, or changing size. And the length of my arm is also changing size. This is where things get really cool. So if I switch back to default, you can see that I'm actually taller now at my standing position, but when I crouch, I can actually touch the ground. It's all very much the natural size, right? Watch what happens when I become DK. Watch the controllers very carefully. I'm not going to move my hands. Notice how they're further away. That's because I'm actually scaling the distance from your body to your hand, meaning that we can actually match the length of the arms of a character like like DK and now I naturally have that length so even when my arms are stretched out they're actually stretched out with DK despite the fact that it's far longer than my arms are relative to my body 
And you can see his head matches as well. So this is kind of me match moving to Donkey Kong, right? So, and you can see his jump is much higher because his body is just bigger. And this is really cool. So if I switch off the, the physics uh, mirror, you can see he just, he just has his arms able to just climb over things, right? So this wall, which is now almost one arm in length, right? I can just kind of climb straight over with one arm used to be very difficult I needed to actually jump that high to get to it you know as this guy so here we go I needed to actually jump much higher than with DK who can just reach the top right a little bit of a hop and I can just reach the top wonderful let's switch to the next one which is the Hulk so again here we've got the size matching his shoulders uh, distance is matching and everything and of course the strength changes based on that as well and you can see his arms are a little bit shorter now because Donkey Kong is, a, is an ape right so he has much longer arms so here we go you can see his arms are shorter oh, uh, with a little bit more wobble <laughs> try and position them correctly um, his arms are shorter this is at my full stretch the the actual ragdoll isn't working properly but his arms are shorter despite the fact that uh, he's he's taller right so Donkey Kong with longer arms even at a shorter size and I still have that extension on my hand right really really cool I love this idea that they had for scaling the controllers again this is uh, this is based on the the ideas that were that were shown in the Bone Lab trailer so I just wanted to test it out next up we've got Hulk Buster which is much bigger uh, much bigger than the Hulk and this is him <laughs> Uh, now, I uh, based all of these um, heights and data points on, on whatever I could find on, on wikis and, and wikipedias and uh, whatever. And Hulkbuster, I, didn't, I couldn't find any height data, so I just compared his Avengers size when, when they're fighting between Hulkbuster and Hulk. And I took Hulk's size and then match scaled Hulkbuster. So there we go. Really cool. And he's pretty big as well let's try and make him jump you have to you have to mind gravity because now gravity feels more floaty since I'm I'm you know I'm bigger therefore I have to slow down my movement when I'm jumping I can't just go like this the jump isn't as high I have to slow down my movement and you can see I'm able to really really jump now let's get real big boom and now everything starts to look a little bit small look so here's here's me in room scale movement you see, I'm able to just walk around naturally. <laughs> Everything's really small. Here's the size of Mario now. I can squish him. And again, much moved to the exact size of, uh, of Optimus Prime over here. Optimus Prime. And even with Optimus Prime, look at the size of uh, King Kong over here. This is a 60 foot King Kong. Of course, when he's fighting, I kind of wanted to put Godzilla, Godzilla in here, Gojira. And, uh, yeah, that's the actual name of him, by the way. Um, in case anyone's thinking I'm, I'm making any insults. The actual size of Godzilla is 390 feet. So, like, six times this. I didn't bother, because I don't want to make my roof that much higher. This is a 40 meter, 40 meter ceiling. So, here we go. Next one, final one, boom! And now I'm King Kong. You can see my physics is starting to get a little bit wobbly considering that the hands are so damn big right and this is massive and now you actually have to kind of understand how gravity is working at this size everything seems a little bit floaty and that's natural because gravity is much much slower than you think it should be and look at the size of everything that's the normal human right there this white thing here tiny little thing so let's switch back to normal human size and in fact I can touch the ceiling as King Kong. Let me just do a proper jump. Again, I have to be aware of gravity. <laughs> it's all really cool. I can just step over those things that were climbing. Right? I was obviously climbing them as Hulk. Even as Optimus, I can just walk over them now. Step, step, step. Triple step. And you can see here this doorway. Switch back to normal. Look at the size of these doorways. Right? This one, the only one that I can touch the ceiling of. And then this one I can jump and touch the ceiling. This one I can't touch the ceiling at all. Oh. 
But if I'm DK, I can slap it. And then if I'm Hulkbuster, I can kind of get a little higher up. Bang! But even then, this doorway is too big. So now Optimus Prime can just about put his head underneath that doorway. Again, the collider does apply the actual size of the head changes. So you have to lower your head to get through there. And then of course, when you're, when you're the giant King Kong, that doorway is too small for you now. You kind of have to go down. You can't, you can't even crouch under that. I'm just too big. Really, really cool. So let's have a look at the scaling in relation to objects. Obviously, can't push this thing. And then this can just about wobble it a little bit. This I can smack. DK. Really, really long arms. You can kind of pick that up as well. Much, much easier. I can kind of push this blue thing now with one hand. Nice and easy. But this big pink one, big red, red one. Let's uh, switch off the mirrors. Things are getting a little bit difficult now at that scale. But if I'm Hulk, much easier to push. And then this big one, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Let's go much more metal. Now I can wobble it. I can just about wobble it, drop the big things at the top. But if I'm Optimus, one hand, smack. Really, 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 really strong because I'm so big. Uh, it changes the mass of the character as well, which means the grounding has to be stronger as well. So the leg strength is stronger. The ability to move, bear in mind how fast I am accelerating right now. In reality, considering those small squares are one meter squares. So when I'm able to do this, I'm going suddenly at like zero to 60 in uh, no time at all. And then you get real big, bang. Oh wait, hold on, before I do that. I can just about wobble this giant 10,000 kilogram box as Optimus Prime. And again, I'm not taking account of the materials that these guys would be made out of. Obviously, I would be a little bit stronger than this if I were made out of metal. But King Kong, boom. Now let's see how much this thing can handle. Easy, just push it down. <laughs> oh, I love it. I am loving it. This is blooming fun. But there we go. Nothing can, nothing can stop King Kong. Ah, just pushing objects around. It's throwing me about because gravity cannot hold me. I am just too big every time I lift my body. So this is me just crouching in reality and lifting my body. And you can see I jump. Every time I just move my body up, gravity cannot hold me down. It's just, he's just too big. And then of course, woo, let's see how big this box is. <laughs> it's massive. It's absolute, look at the size of that dude. Look, look at how big I am right now. I'm standing as tall as his ankle. And then Mario, even funnier. Look at this. This is the toe. This is his toe. It's a bit awkward standing here. That's his toe. I'm shorter than his ankle. And then suddenly, I'm Hulkbuster. And now up to his knee. Actually up to Optimus Prime's knee, nearly. There we go. And then boom. Now I'm Optimus Prime. And look at uh, look at King Kong against, uh, against Optimus Prime. And this is the short King Kong. The one that fights Godzilla in those movies has been scaled up by about five times. So yeah, he's real big. Optimus Prime cannot move this pink box pink red box and then just suddenly boom now the big guy hey and you can just move around real easy anyways so that's that a bit ridiculous a little bit late and uh, just want to put this video up it was a quick test of of an idea that I wanted to try out myself um, an idea that was put forward by stress level zero I am looking forward to the game on Thursday and I will be playing that immediately upon release if my internet can handle downloading that's assuming this internet can handle uploading this video as well anyways i'll see you in the next video um 
Wait, let's uh, let's do this as someone more useful. Goodbye. Oh wait, you do. <laughs> let's see how monkeyfied it looks. Anyways, yeah. Goodbye. See you in the next one. Bye. -bye.